In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden 23 out of the tight slots halfback week. This is, um, if you wanna get my entire ebook on this formation, I believe it's one of the better passing formations, if not the best passing formation in the game. Uh, so if you wanna get my entire ebook on this, it is in the Patreon. That will be linked in the description. 10 bucks gets you access to all of the eBooks over there, offensive, defensive, everything uh, for just 10 bucks. If you want to become a member, uh, you can sign up by clicking the link in the description. But we're taking a look at the play Flood today, and we're going to be using kind of a different style um, of attack with this play. So basically what we're going to utilize this play for is we're going to take this corner out. We're going to turn it into a post and then we're gonna play Madden a little differently um, than you might be accustomed to. So basically, if you think about it, this is a really good play for 335 uh, wide or 33 cub uh, because you can block your tight end. So we're gonna block our tight end. We're gonna motion Cromartie across the formation. So you see here, he is now on a really good post route, like a really, really good post route, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna streak Eric Berry. This is gonna clear out any kind of deep vertical zone. And then essentially what I like to do here is you can either hitch Carmichael, put him on an in route with the running back on a wheel or a flat or an option. You could drag an option route. Okay, whatever you want to do here. I also really like to ghost route and in route. This is good. So um, what you're going to see here is essentially we're going to have a high-low in the middle of the field. Really simple route combo but really effective for attacking space on the field that isn't all the time like super easy to attack in tight slots. So um, let me show you an example. So here's cover three. Um, as you saw right there, blocking the tight end will pick up the blitz. Now, if you're not worried about the blitz, then you can, you can like, I mean, do something like this. Um, if you wanna do something like this, like this is really good, okay? Um, but here you'll see, this is cover three. And you see how he gets in the soft spot that zone is going to really struggle to cover okay so you see there that was cover three i'll show you here cover four uh drop and all we're seeing here is that this route to circle is going to clear out space and then you are going to be able to again create a high low over the middle of the field between your little in route your little baby in route check down and then this route that you can ag in front of any kind of inside quarter zone adjustment uh, that they might do. Now, the other thing is that they have to do a lot with their user here because the in route is one of the best check down routes in the game. Again, if you are facing more man coverage, you know, you could put the running back on a wheel. You could put the, I mean, there's a lot of routes. Put them on a basic five yard out route as well. Really, really good. <laughs> What you'll see against man is this route just destroys man coverage over the middle of the field. Very consistent man beating route, especially if you have, um, especially if you have the short and elite ability. Okay, so the user has to drift with uh, with this route. He basically has to come back and he has to play uh, that post over the middle of the field. Now again, if they're blitzing five, this is a really good setup because you can block six. You could even, if you wanted to, do a max protect and just do something very simple like this. And this is gonna get open every single time because this in route, like I said, is the ultimate check down route. Now what I like to do with by putting the running back on a wheel or putting the running back on a flat or something, it forces them to have to guard the running back with somebody. And so they can't put other zones on the field um, to take that away. So you'll see here, you know, doing something like this. Now, if let's say, for example, they're like, okay, well, we're going to try to take away the running back with our user. And then we're going to try to take, you know, this guy and put him in, you know, a zone to, to try to take this away. But we still want to send pressure and we won't obviously have to hover over in that area. So you see something like this. Now I can quick throw this running back route. And a lot of times, you know, they're not going to guard it, right? So this is just one of my favorite plays in the game because of how well it does at attacking the middle of the field in a formation that is really good at attacking different pockets of the field. Um, but this one right here is super effective because if they're sitting in main coverage on you, that post route has a pretty good chance of being a, a touchdown. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire tight slots, halfback week offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.